great bossy must be mingling so easily. You know, some people are just born to mingle. Yeah, well, Joe may look okay, Brenda, but inside he's scared stiff. Yeah, because he's got to make that speech tonight. Really? Yeah. I heard him practicing this afternoon. He sounded great. Yeah, the thing he said about old crane operators was really kind of sad and touching. That's his opening joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's Nick. Isn't he handsome? Well, you know, when he walks, when he walks into a room, you can just feel all the heads turn. <laughs> I think only yours, Brenda. Oh, I guess no one saw the fireworks either, huh? Excuse me. Hey, hey, Brenda. Hey, Annette. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you want to pull up a chair, have a bite to eat? Oh, no, no food. I want to get up there and start wailing. I don't want to lose my edge, you know? Hey, Nick. Uh... Hey, Joe. Thanks a lot for the gig. Hey, that's all right. Listen, I got to give my speech now, and I was just wondering if you give me some fanfare or something to get the people's attention. Sure, sure, definitely. Hey, everybody, everybody, shut up. <laughs> nice touch, Nick. Hey. He's going to talk now. <laughs> Down now, hold it down. The boss is gonna make his speech. So if you got to go to the bathroom, now's a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Justin. Now uh, listen, folks, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. It wasn't too sweet, but it was short enough. <laughs> Next! <laughs> yeah, I gotta follow this. Are you kidding? Okay, um, everybody, I'd like to introduce you to a very special guy. He's the reason that we're all here tonight. And he's someone that I think is the best. Vito Malzoni. Vito, come on. Vito, come on. Vito you've been in wrecking for 47 years. And in honor of all those years, I would like to present to you all of us would like to present to you a token of our esteem. Yeah, our esteem. <laughs> hey, this is really beautiful. I just love all you guys. I mean, working with you has been my whole life. But now I gotta say, like the sign says, so long. I really don't want to retire, but hey, I have to, and that's life. Anyway, I'll never forget you guys. I only hope we can get together once in a while, and I really mean it. I remember when Ernie Spivak retired. We always said we were going to get together, but we didn't. The next time we got together was at the funeral. I hope you guys ain't gonna do that with me. So you're all invited to come by the house anytime, as soon as Margaret gets back on her feet again. So listen, I wanna thank all of you for this wonderful watch. And now I can sit home and watch the time tick away. And anyway, I love you guys. so bad. I can't go on like this. I mean, one job in three months doesn't pay a whole lot of bills, you know? 
They offered me a gig in Buffalo. I think I'm going to take it. In Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. At the Palazzo di Napoli. <laughs> <laughs> I could go up there any time and really pack them in, you know. They're very hip in Buffalo. <laughs> People in this burg are just too uncool to dig what Nick Lobo is all about, you know? Mm, I know what you mean. All my life, I've been waiting for people to be cool enough to dig chubby thighs. Hey, hey if they don't dig voluptuous when they see it, huh? Oh, Nick, you gotta stay. Please. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, Nick. Nick, Nick, would, would you play something for me? Oh, gee, uh, no, I, I don't really think I feel like it, you know? Oh, Nick, please. No, no, I don't, I don't think I'm really in the mood. Okay, look, if you're not in the mood to play... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. As long as I got it on, huh? <laughs> about something a little more romantic. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. Oh, look, I wasn't planning on playing this for you just yet, you know. It's still uh, sort of a rough draft of a little tune that I like to call Brenda. Oh, wow. When I go to sleep <laughs> I find all the charms about Brenda. <laughs> Maybe it seems in all of my dreams I walk with my arms about Brenda. Oh, oh that crummy flat, I gotta get that fixed. Hey, it did it again, I wasn't even playing. Uh, yes, Carlton, what is it? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Yeah, yeah, what, what is it? Well, it's kind of lonely down here, so I Carlton, thought... Carlton, Carlton, I have someone up here now. Oh, what a pretty song. Hey, hey, that's my man, you like that? Beautiful song. Would you mind just humming it? I hate the accordion. <laughs> Definitely buffalo time. <laughs> Hey, Ro, I got a problem. Nick's moving out of town. Uh-huh. Now tell me your problem. <laughs> Come on, Rhoda. Nick told me last night he's moving to Buffalo to take a job in a pizza parlor. Okay, so it's not Carnegie Hall. He could play in worse places. Rhoda, he's not playing. He's making pizza. <laughs> Nick Lobo is making pizza. Somehow that doesn't upset me. I mean, as much as it would if I heard that Arthur Rubenstein was making jumbo jacks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bren. To tell you the truth, I don't get what you see in that guy. Just... All right, all right. You want to know what I see in him? I will tell you what I see in him, Rhoda. All right. All right. And I know you don't think so, but he is a warm and sensitive person. Rhoda, he even wrote a song just for me. You listen to this, and then you tell me that he's not sensitive. Okay, okay. When I go to sleep, I never count sheep. I count all the charms about Brenda. And lately it seems, in all of my dreams, I walk with my arms around Brenda. <laughs> Rhoda, how'd you know that? Lucky guess. Brenda, that's an old song. That song is old. It is? Yes, of course. It's called Linda. It was a big hit in the late 40s. Huh. Okay, okay, Rhoda, but he rewrote that song just for me. <laughs> rewrote it. He changed the lit to bread. The nda was already there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Rhoda. The point is that I care about him. Rhoda, Rhoda, will you help me, please? Brenda, what can I do? Well, I, I just kind of figured that since Nick is going to be taking a job that doesn't involve music, well, wouldn't it be better if he got one here in New York? Oh, Brenda, wait a minute. I can't hire him. I have no No, no, no. I didn't mean you. 
I didn't mean you should hire him. Just thought you might be married to someone who might hire him. <laughs> oh, you mean like um, someone who, let's say, knocks down buildings? Yeah. No. <laughs> Rhoda, Rhoda, I don't want Nick to leave town. Because, Ro, if he leaves town, then he's not going to be here anymore. Oh. Brenda, do you really care that much about him? Yeah. <laughs> that much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask Joe. What? I said I will ask Joe. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Rhoda, Rhoda, don't do that. I changed my mind. Don't ask Joe. Don't change your mind. I'll be very happy to ask no, Joe. No, I will. Rhoda, I don't want you to ask Joe. I hate myself for even bringing it up. I swore that I would never do it, but I did, so Rhoda, really, forget it, please. Just promise me that you won't ask Joe, okay? Brenda, I'm going to ask Joe. No, don't ask him. Please, don't ask him. I, I want to ask him. Please, allow me to do this. Please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, I thought I heard crying. What's going on here? You did. Uh, Brenda's all upset. Shh. Joe, you know how I feel about Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a lazy, obnoxious bum who's no good for Brenda. Sure. Right, right. Could you give him a job? <laughs> They said that you should be getting a check any day now. Hey, Alice, hey. Oh, hi, Nick. I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, okay, Tiny, look, I gotta go back to work now. But you just stay home, and we'll send you your check every week. Oh, bye, Tiny. <laughs> hey, Alice, this uh, Tiny guy who's getting paid to stay at home, does he work here? Yeah. Yeah, what's he do? Sounds like a good gig. Oh, he's on workman's compensation. Hey, uh, how could I get that? Well, uh, Tiny got it by having a girder fall nine feet and hit him on the head. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, Alice, you're very good with that thing. You got a real natural sense of rhythm. You must have some musical aptitude on you. Hey. Well, uh, I uh, took up the trumpet up to the fourth grade, but um, it didn't work. I, uh... Uh, oh, I didn't have the lip print. Hey, Alice, I think you got great lips. Uh, oh, go on. Oh, no, really, really. Listen, I could teach you a lot of things. Moon River? <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, Justin. Hey. hey. Nick, where you been? It's 10 o'clock. Oh, Joe, uh, you got to understand that all my life I've been a night person, you know? My body is not used to getting up this early. <laughs> anyway, uh... Joe, I'm ready to give it a shot, so where do I start? Corner of 84th and Columbus. Picking up rubble. Guys, I could get my suit dirty. Hey, Justin, see if you can get the man some coveralls, will you? Hey, hey, you're not going to find anything to fit me today. I mean, uh, I'm a pretty big guy here, you know? <laughs> Try those, big fella. <laughs> Who's Artie's? Tiny's. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Who is this? Who else? Hey, sissies. <laughs> you still working for Joe, or have you moved over to SWAT? Hey. <laughs> you like this, huh? The one they gave me at first was too big. I had to have it taken in, you know? Yeah, I didn't know they could do that with helmets. <laughs> uh, why are you here? I brought you some flowers. Oh, they're very nice. What's the occasion? Well, we knocked down a flower shop. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Hey, you look great today, sis. You know that? That is a great outfit. Is that a new towel, huh? <laughs> Compliments? What have I done to deserve all this? Look, look, Rhoda, I know that you have not always been one of my biggest fans, you know? But Brenda told me how you were the one that greased away with Joe to get me this job, and I, I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, okay, Nick. Okay. 
It was really nothing. Hey, nothing. You saved my life. I was tapped out, down for the count. You jumped in and saved my skin. Why do I feel like saying Burma shave? <laughs> uh, listen, uh, all I wanted to do here today, Rhoda, really, was to get straight with you, you know? Because I know sometimes I probably just come on like a big, obnoxious... Jerk! I wouldn't say that. I wasn't gonna say that either. <laughs> anyway, uh, all I wanted to do here today was to show you that there is another side to me that you probably don't know about, you know? Because, Rhoda, I really want us to be friends, you know? What do you say? Let's be friends, huh? Okay, Nick. I'll give it a shot. Hey, great, great. Oh, one thing, uh, now that we're friends, Rhoda, I was wondering, since you and Joe are kind of close, you know, uh, do you think that you could get him to give me an office job? I think our friendships just went on the rocks. So soon. Hi, Justin. Hey, Rhoda. Ah, so where's Joe? Ah, he told me to tell you he's gonna be a little late. They had a little problem down on the job. Oh, no. I hope he doesn't take too long. I'm starving, and I don't have much time for lunch today. Well, I got a lot of time, and for once, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, today, Denise made me the greatest lunch in the history of lunch. Rhoda, in this box is a thick slice of Italian bread stuffed with sausage, filled with juicy green peppers, and everything's dripping with tomato sauce. Oh. And for dessert, one of those great cream-filled cannolis. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> hey, somebody stole my, my lunch! Oh, Justin, definitely the work of the cannoli bandoli. <laughs> They switched lunches on me and left me peanut butter. Ah. Hey, hi, Rhoda, hi. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh, it's a cannoli, man. It's terrific. You stole my con you stole my lunch. Hey, jump back, Jack. I didn't steal your lunch. <laughs> Picked up your lunchbox by mistake. I was halfway through that great sandwich and I said to myself, wait a minute, Nick. This is not peanut butter. <laughs> Man, if I wasn't weak from hunger, I'd kill you. Hey, don't get nuts. Uh, you want half a cannoli? Yeah. yeah, I want half a cannoli. Thank you. <laughs> Over my dead body, you... He's usually such a laid-back guy. I don't know what's wrong with him today. Sit down, Nick, will you? Oh, sure. I think it's time you and I had a little chat? Hey, great, great. You, uh, you've been thinking about what I asked you the other day. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I, it's been on my mind constantly. I can think of little else. All right, Nick, up. Hey, Joe, it's just my feet here, you know. Now, I've had it with you. This morning when I said throw away everything on that job, I didn't mean the Jack Hammers. <laughs> hey, Joe, come on. You don't have to embarrass me in public here. You don't like that? Get in there and I'll embarrass you in private. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but uh, this time that clown has gotten too out of hand and I, I'm going to have to get rid of him. I just don't know what I'm going to tell Brenda. Well, Brenda's not your worry. Neither is firing Nick. I asked you to hire him and if you say he should go, I'll fire him. No, it's all right, babe. I'll take care of it. You don't understand. I want to fire that guy. Please, let me fire him. Oh, hi, Bren. Hi, Joe. Hi, Rhoda. Oh, hi. Uh, Nick needed some money, uh, so I cashed a check for him. Fire who? Uh, nobody you know, Bren. Uh, this person that I don't know. Does his name start with Nick? <laughs> Joe, we got to level with it sooner or later. Oh, no. Hey, Bren, look, look. I know it's tough, but believe me, I gave Nick plenty of chances to make good and he messed up every single one of them. Oh, no. Joe, Joe, it's just because he's new. He's scared. He's not used to this. Joe, Joe, you tell me what he's doing wrong, and I'll talk to him. He'll listen to what I say. Joe, don't fire him. It'll break his heart. You gotta give him that chance. Okay. Hey, what's people. going on? You forget about me. <laughs> hey, hey, Brenda, how you doing? Ah. Uh, Nick, I brought your money for you. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, uh, Joe, 
Uh, Joe, did you want to talk to me or what? Uh, no, no, no. That's all right. Okay. Hey, what is this? Some kind of special occasion? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Joe, you ready for lunch? Yeah, okay. Brent, can we drop you somewhere? Oh, yeah, sure, thanks. When I go to sleep, I never count sheep. I count all the charms about Alice. Oh, look at the time. Hey, oh, hey. I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry. I love to hang around and socialize with you, but I'm very busy. Yeah, Brenda? You're fired. <laughs> oh, Brenda. <laughs> Say, I don't uh, really think, you know, that you can fire me from this job. Oh, Nick, you're fired. Excuse me, but I don't think you can fire me either. You know, he's the only one that can fire me. <laughs> Nick. You're fired. <laughs> Hey, now I'm fired. <laughs>